What's going on, you guys? So, one of my co-workers, my good co-workers, uh, sent me to this creek over here. It's a beautiful creek. Beautiful creek. He says it's a bunch of um, rock bass, smallmouth. We're going to try to get into everything in here. But this place is so, so, so beautiful. Hey, I'm about to show you guys. So the house is down that way. It's on my right hand side. And then it just flows down and down and down. And then it opens up all the way back there. Like I said, it's a beautiful place. Thank you, Levi, for inviting us over here. I hope I get the chance to meet the guy that owns this spot because it is a gorgeous spot. I, I would have loved to have this in my backyard. I would never leave home. You guys know it, <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, yeah, let's not do too much talking because I really don't have that much time. Hopefully he'll allow us to come back again, you know, and again and again. Hopefully we can uh, become pretty good friends, but so far, I mean, we I've gotten hits and stuff, but that's about it. I ain't pulling nothing out the water yet. So I'll see you guys out on the water. So it's me and Ross. We out here exploring this new creek, trying to figure things out. <clears throat> now we're going to come to the open part. I'm telling you, man, this place is beautiful. You, you'd have never thought it was down here. If you drove past it, You'd have never thought. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Oh my God, I don't mean Ross either. I mean, look at it. Like anyway, that oh my God. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. Oh, oh my God. Dude, they're loaded. They are loaded. Oh God, right there. That that might, oh, right there, again, again, again. <laughs> Dude, rock bass. Come on, baby. Oh. Oh my. Oh, this place is, oh my God, dude. Oh, there we go, here we go, here we go. Is, what is that, rock bass? No. No, it's a rock band. Yes! Yes! <laughs> exactly what we're looking for, guys. I saw the mouth and it looked paperish. I know, I thought it was crappie. Look, this is what we're looking for, guys, but unfortunately, this guy is a little small. So, we'll let him be on his way. Thank you, Levi. Thank you, Boa. There you go. I think I might have to take off my shoes, my boots. We're gonna have to take a walk or, or maybe not. So I'm about to show y'all what I'm using. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm using already because I usually use it in a lot of my panfish stuff. Gonna be some light, light tackle action today. Definitely. All I have for top water is my buzz bait, but that's fine. All right, here we go. It's the Panfish Elite Series. This is the light action, seven foot. Um, lure, lure weight is uh, 1 16th to a quarter. It's 7 2, my bad, I'm sorry. And there's a fast action paired up with my Shimano Sedona 1000. Nano fill, four pound nano fill. Eight pound um, floral leader, eight ounce jig head with, um, I forgot what that uh, is, a Bobby Garland, but I forgot what that was called. Uh, blue ice, yeah, blue ice. Let's get it. Hey, they get bigger. 
Obviously, you seen that smallie. Yeah. Oh, got him. Got him. This is a good one. He's coming towards Ross. Well, it felt good in the current. <laughs> These guys are so chunky, man. Beautiful, beautiful specimens. Oh, shake it off, man. Oh, man, it feels so good in here now. Was that a hit? Oh. Oh, here we go. That's a good one. Oh, they do live here. That's a good one. Rock. Rock face. Yep, they do live here. Okay. You have two buddies you can talk to. Got him. Smalley. Got the Smalley. Oh, he got a sore. Okay, okay, okay. Like a lamprey sore. Hold on, look. I got you. Look at that. Pretty, pretty. See, so you got a little sore right there. He feisty. He's still good, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that was a hit. Ah. Uh, Got it out. Oh, got him. Got him. And that is, a, yes, exactly the guy we're looking for. Yep, that's him. Got him right there. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Whoo. Oh, yeah. What's going on, you guys? I can't, Levi, I can't thank you enough, bud. And the man that uh, lives over here and gave us permission to fish it, thank you so much. Today was epic. It's one of the most epic creek um, fishing time that I've had in a while. And this is why. That's why man thank you guys so much thank you thank you so much if you guys would do me a favor please if you guys like what i used in the video and stuff it'll be in the description below uh, buy it off off of there and uh it'll help the channel out a lot you know what i mean maybe maybe it'll give me a little money to do a little traveling around you know gas money 
But other than that, I think uh, we got to catch and cook. I'll see you guys back at home. What's going on, you guys? Yes, me and Tattoo Dangler did it again. We did it again. Every time we get together, we always have a massacre. You know what I mean? We laid the hammer down on them today hard. Now, mind you, I've never tried rock bass. Never even thought about trying rock bass until I ran a across a couple of channels and they said it was good and all this stuff. So we gonna, we gonna try it out. We got about 30 of them. I'm a probably fillet more than half or half and then uh, cook the other half whole. You guys already know how it's done, so I'm not gonna waste your time too much, you know. And then we, and then once my cousin come over, we'll cook it up in beer batter, and then uh, just put a little bit of flour on the other one, and then just cook it up. Stay tuned. All right. Now we're about to fillet these guys up. Well, I'm a fillet too, and then. Uh, scale the other two and you guys know the rest we about to cook them up let me position you guys right all right this time we're taking a more different approach electric fillet knife quick and easy oh he ate a crayfish Look at that, that was in his stomach. That's a crayfish head right there. If you guys can see that. Hope you guys can, yep. That's a crayfish head. Silhouettes of you are like a taunt. Never really notice what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palms. Play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever want to give me wings. Now these two, you guys, you guys see me do, scale them, and then cut them and gut them. You guys see me do this already, so fast forward if you want to, if you don't want to, just let it play. What's up you guys, um, on today's episode, we got the rock bass we're cooking up today. We're going to cook it up two different ways. One beer batter way, and the other way is um, uh, with just the, the whole fish with just salt, pepper, garlic powder, whatever you want to add. It's basically... That's what I'm gonna add. And um, I got my cousin's help with me today, Sai. Let's say hi. Hello, everybody. Yeah, so um, we're gonna walk you guys through the step and the ingredients will be listed in, uh, in the description below or somewhere in the, in the video. That way you guys can pause it and write it down however you guys wanna do it. We got one and a half cup of sift rising flour and we got tiger seasoning, salt, pepper, paprika, chicken flavoring, garlic powder, and onion powder. We put them all together. This is the beer batter, you guys. This is the beer batter. And that's it. And we pour the beer in there and mix. Whatever beer you guys want to use, that's optional too. And once she gets this all whipped up, we'll bring you guys to the um, to the frying station. Oh, um, the ingredients that I will be listing in there is made enough enough for 15 bluegills, 15 crappies. Well, bluegills because you know crappies are bigger than bluegills. But um, we got rock bass today, so 
And this is the batter right here, the consistency of it. All right, we're about to test the oil. Almost there, almost there, you guys. The heat is on medium high. Yeah. The more you guys put in, the cooler the oil gets. So, you know, put just enough to keep uh, keep the oil hot. Smells good already. But they can use any pan or cast iron yeah. pan that's perfect. So, we will show you the ending result in a minute. I feel like when I'm with you, I'm losing. I feel like you think that this amusing. Sitting there, gaslight, be confusing. Was it me? Is it me? Am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion. What do you guys think? I offer all of the yeah? Like Woohoo! Three thumbs up, you guys. Scale from one to ten. I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid. Ten. <laughs> ten, <laughs> two. <laughs> okay. Wow. What'd you think? Scale from one to ten. Ten. All right, that's forty right there. Play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever want to give me wings. You don't ever want to set me free. What's up, you guys? So, we're gonna try it now, taste test the beer batter and fried whole. I love these guys. You, you know I love these guys. And we also have salsa, but we don't have no chip, you know what I mean? So, my chip of choice is, you already know it. Rock bass. Two hour accomplishment. Cheers, my friend. Now, this is my first time ever eating rock bass. Ever, 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 ever. I, I, <laughs> Definitely easy 10 out of 10. What'd you say? 10 out of 10. Easy. Hands down. Hands yeah. down. Oh, yeah. Chase it down with the salsa. A little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, beer, self rising flour. Can't beat it. I'm telling you, you can't beat it. If you guys haven't seen my other um, catch and cook video, the bluegill crappie, when we was at Taylorsville, heck, even when we was at home right here at the park, that one was awesome too. Now, see, oop, that fly wanted some. Now, when I eat these guys whole, of course, I take the tail off first. And then, I take the top fin off. All this, I'll, I'll call it backstrap. Backstrap of rock bass. What I do is I go straight in. Oh yeah. If you guys cook this long enough in grease, the bone will get brittle. Everything will get brittle. It has to be like a reddish gold. They're great. I'm telling you, rock bass get 10 out of 10 for me. 
Well, I'm not going to keep you guys watching me eat. But uh, if you guys like what you see, please leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know. Let us know how we're doing on our channel. And if you guys don't don't know him, that's my buddy Ross. His channel is called Tattoo Dangler. I'll put it in uh, somewhere up here. But for all the new subscribers, I love you guys. I thank you for the love and support. Every day, all day. Every day above ground is a good day. We are enjoying the fruits of our labor. This is God's nature right here. God's grocery store. I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.